So welcome to another uh, composite tutorial video, I'm Andrew and so uh, you'll recognise this photo from the last one we did and um, we're just going to talk about another selection um, method or something else to just keep in the toolbox which might be useful at, um, at some point for you but it's, it's just a useful technique to know. Um, so uh, what we're going to do today for this first one, I'm going to show you a couple of times and how it can be useful. So, I'm going to take the quick selection tool. Okay, so we've just got this layer here, and we're just going to go around. And not worry too much, but I'm mainly focusing on this upper area here. And um, so what we're going to do is we're going to refine the edge and we're going to focus on the radius tool, radius slider here and bring that right up, okay, which brings in all the hair but it makes it very, you know, it's not it's not a clean selection so you've got, you know, greys um, in here rather than just black and white which is not necessarily what you want but we're going to help that along a little bit by just raising the contrast a touch to bring the blacks in a little bit more. And then output to new layer with layer mask. Click OK. OK, so it's done that. The mask is back to front, so Control or Command I to flip that round. Now, I'm going to open up my channels panel here and you can see it's loaded that selection that mask into the channels and we want to see this because what we're going to do is we're going to try and get rid of some of the, some of this area where it's bleeding in so click the eyedropper there and click the eye there and now we're just looking at the mask now this little technique is quite quite good all you do is you get your brush probably good to have a soft brush, so nice soft brush and you want it on overlay okay and you want white and then what you do is you're painting so you make sure your layer mask is selected just, you're just looking at the layer mask in the channels make sure your brush is set as is and then what you do just carefully paint round and it'll just harden up that selection a little bit carefully. Now I'm trying to stay on the white because I don't want to ruin the edges too much but if I go over here you can see it doesn't affect the black it just affects the white and the greys let's go around the arms like that Just carefully. Just down here as well. Bring that finger back in. And there we go. And it's just brought in all that, which was a bit, a bit soft and a bit grey. And then if we go back, turn off the mask. Uh, and there we go, we have a much better selection much better, now it needs refining, there's issues all over the place on that but it can be useful and to show you one way it can be useful is on a really high key image, so what I've done on this, I've turned this into a very high key image, lots of whites and very light greys and I'm going to do the same thing on this layer. So, quick selection tool. Round we go. And do the whole body this time. Now, you can see it's naturally, because there's not much difference between the white and the light greys here, it's gone into this. So, I'm going to try and get. Just bring that back a little bit holding down alt 
or option. Just bringing that back a little bit as much as we're able. Okay. There we go. Not too bad. That'll do, doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. And we're just going to use the same technique again. Just bring that skirt back in, just refining that a little bit. Okay, that'll do. Refine edge. And just notice these lines around here so I'm just going to try and bring that in okay let's go again refine edge that's a bit better that'll do so bringing up the radius again really try and bring it in Just up the contrast a bit. Okay, there we go. New selection, new layer with layer mask to work non destructively. Okay, so it's back to front. So click on the mask, command or control I. Okay, not too bad, but it needs work. So here we go into channels, turn off the RGB, go to your paintbrush, soft brush, overlay on white. And we paint back in. So, I mean, when you do this properly, you'd really take your time. It will probably be part of a wider uh, number of tool, tools used to uh, do the final selection. Now just go around, just bring it in where we want it. Finger in down there and down there, bit of the leg, and down here as well. All around. Okay. I'm going to leave it there. Now, naturally, you go around and you make sure everything's as you wanted it to be, but you get the idea. It's just the properties of overlay, and you know, you by it just doesn't affect the black. Anything white or grey, when you paint with white on an overlay setting, it lightens it and brings it closer and closer to white, but it doesn't affect black. Nothing happens. See? Which. You know, it's just really useful for this kind of selection. So if we go to the RGB again. Uh, that's not a bad selection. Um, there you go. Not too bad at all. Um, it needs work. There's areas where there are issues, and you can, you know, because it's it's a mask, and I can go to that mask, disable it. The image is still there. I've not done anything to that image, it is just a mask. Um, so you can go back in and you can adjust that mask and you can bring it back and take it, you know, and push and pull it around until you get the selection you want. And that is the best way to work. So anyway, there's another tool for your for your toolbox, your Photoshop toolbox. And um hope it's useful. Thank you.
hi guys thank you for watching this video if you'd like to support me in making these composites and videos uh, check out my patreon campaign at the link on the screen or in the description below and uh, i'll see you soon on another video soon thank you very much